Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Call of Duty Warzone running on the AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS with the Radeon 680M. Now this RDNA 2 base GPU is giving us some pretty decent performance here with the game running at 1080p with the lowest settings with the render resolution set to 100%. So this is full 1080p resolution right here and we are getting a above 60 FPS average. Now the 1% lows do dip below 60 but not by much. 40 for 1% lows on a game that is running at native 1080p no fsr no resolution scaling anything like that this is full 100 resolution it's running surprisingly well this is actually really really impressive levels of performance especially considering when we compare it to something like the 5500u this is one of those games that really demonstrates the performance uplift of rdna2 where you can actually get some very very good levels of performance here and you don't really have to play it with the resolution setting like this if you just turn on the dynamic resolution scaling where you're targeting a 60 fps average it will even out things like the one percent lows overall the experience of playing on here was very smooth it was really enjoyable and paired with the 120 hertz display on this laptop itself it was a very enjoyable experience and while of course it can run it at the 100 resolution scaling i really would just su suggest that you turn on the resolution target to 60 fps when you do that it really 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 evens out the performance here and you actually start to get a little bit better performance out of the one percent lows you start to get more into the 50 range and the fps can actually start to hit a little bit more above 60 it kind of just evens out the performance you don't get as many stutters overall it's just going to be a better experience another route you can go with is just of course setting the resolution to something like 80 percent as that will overall just boost the performance in general so if you just don't want any fluctuations or you want to be above 60 as much as possible you can of course do that but it will affect things like view distance a little bit because of the fact that you are of course just reducing the resolution but really overall what this shows is you actually have some options here and this chip can actually perform really really well here i the more i use the, this chip the more i feel like the 6900 hs is the perfect chip to just be thrown into a laptop that is targeted towards esports gamers because if you're looking to play games like valorant play games like warzone like CSGO, like Fortnite, all of these games, you can play them on here really, really well without needing a dedicated graphics card. So we do get some pretty insane levels of performance here. And of course, the GPU is putting in some very, very solid work here. You can see that it's actually at 100% utilization here. So we're not being limited by the CPU in any way whatsoever. We're just getting very, very good performance here. This was a absolutely enjoyable experience in here. And this is the best experience that I've ever had with Warzone on an iGPU and I mean it's really starting to make the iGPU market seem like it's going to be very exciting in the coming years what I'm very curious to see is how this is going to stack up against the Ryzen 5 variants because if they can keep up with this level of performance and provide a 60 FPS gaming experience in this that will be a game changer I mean just looking at the frame times you will know that while playing the game this is going to be a very smooth experience you're not really going to run into any issues that are going to cause you any problems so this game is an absolute win on this chip but anyways i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one